Ile Oh you know so Right now being get up on a chill mode Yeah I have lyrics overload Hear me now I just be chilling And a boy girl I get stabbing in a make a bin She sight me Benjamins them now she's more than willing So receiving Now she ready for her top him feeling I money she be leaving She said my bank account and now she giving What's the dealing? She come for your special healing Too revealing Up on the rooftop she want the feeling I just be chilling with my chalice and my purple laser blaze Me lick the ganja pipe I give thanks and praise <laughs> Let out the smoke the whole that last year for days Rasta man a king And a we the girl them a praise, chilling. All when me see sexy girl a gaze, chilling, chilling with my friends and the hens. My money making friends we drive Bima and Benz. Girl a no way problem. Ask Dan and Karen, Jennifer, Susie, Angela and Gwen, chilling, chilling with me paper and me pen. A creator family of rock they get to use them, reminiscing on the artists them we pass through me hands. Peter Touch, Bob Marley, Bonnie Wheel, a legend. When me member Dennis Brown, Jacob Miller and friends it just give me a hand no Jimmy start think about top 10 kill his people a penny me but me not nah penny them you know here chillin chill it hear me now aight highly highly yeah man me just there a whole of meds you know thinking about temptation thinking about frustration thinking about violation thinking about condemnation thinking about all kind of nation yes cause at the bottom of the day we are all one see we thinking about racism we thinking about prejudice we thinking about peace we thinking about war we thinking about hatred we thinking about love yes highly because we have to think about those things but thinking about them doesn't mean that you have to practice them. You practice the ones that you want to practice and the others you eliminate. Yeah, because it's a natural thing in human being to think bad things sometimes, you know. Because any man or woman sit down there and tell me say sometimes them don't think evil, they are lying. Because, you know, a good and bad make, make, make us up, you know. So. There's always the vices, we have to learn to listen to the vices, you know. Sometimes the vices can make you tend to go over to your dark shadow side, you know, depend on the vice we're listening to. And then the other vice will lead you to the more genuine side of you, yeah. But the more you, the more time you spend on that genuine side of you, is the easier for you to refuse and to condemn and to deny that shadow side that evil side yeah so them say practice becomes perfect in our real life so we have to learn to just accept love don't push it away yeah accept love embrace it yeah and respect it yeah and you know just try that highly 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 bless my people judge you out you know what i'm there my order this morning and to my surprise my man showed me squeechy and come check i and i said john what you a long time in the city I. yeah so I have to call him in and we have all the reasoning and thing, But I tell her that you are not normal The man is a sample man Anyway Bingy has said Big up on yourself All of the people out there who subscribe And support the thing See? Enough love See? Listen to the reasoning between me and Screechy Dan Because we just there all the mates Highly Screechy Now Bingy want to ask you a question See? I mean, there's a man like this, you always have some good reasoning and things. That's why I'm really high. What do you, you think about the, the, the politicians in Jamaica? See, just give me an overview of how you view these politicians in Jamaica. See? Here I said, oh, Bengi. 
when I talk to Screechy, not tell I about them kind of people they say. I as a politician. Better you say politician. Cause I trick them trick people all the time. Yeah. I trick them comfy trick people. And better you call them politics shan bingy. Cause they come in like ticks when they want to vote. And as soon as them get them vote, they pick you off like ticks, bingy. So nobody come tell me about no politrician or them politics, Sean. The whole of them corrupt, bingy. Me say them corrupt. Ailey, Ailey, Ailey. Yeah, man. You know, sir, them said that transparency is here in the media in Jamaica. And um, I am not going to um, contest that. But what I can say that is obvious about journalism journalism in Jamaica is not where it's supposed to be. You know? A lot of these journalists are favorite it is obvious they make it so obvious that they pick a side in politics no in my opinion journalism is not about that and even if it's that you shouldn't make it be so transparent because i listen to a lot of these journalists here in jamaica and um the public can can point fingers and say this one is pnp and that one is labor right no these are journalists now, we are supposed to, as a public, supposed to be trusting their information that they, get, they are giving out because they are journalists. That's what journalism is about. People go out and seek the truth and make it transparent. But if the public itself do not trust these journalists to give them the, 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 the raw truth about um, corruption, about politicians who are corrupted, and so forth, then they're not doing their jobs as journalists, in my opinion, you know? And like I said, it's my opinion. These are just my observations, my opinions, you know? I mean, nobody has to agree with me. Everyone don't have to agree with me, but these are just my opinions, my observation, you know, based on what I'm hearing, you know? We are tapped into the system in Jamaica, in the rural and the urban part of Jamaica, and we listen and we observe, yeah. So, where this, these, this, these are the voices. This is the voices of the people, yeah. So basically, what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is the voices of the people out there who are saying these things. You know, they can point finger at a renowned journalist. I mean, most of them, and say that one they are PNP and that one they are Labour. Right? That's not good. You know, so what we need now in Jamaica, we need some more freelance journalism, in my opinion. We need some young people fe, who care about their country, yeah, to start getting involved in these things, yeah. Getting involved in these things because you have a right to, as a Jamaican, as a citizen of your country, you have a right to know the truth, yeah. So we cannot depend on the handful of these people who are issuing out the information to us to be getting the right information because the handful of folks who are distributing the information to us are... <laughs> you know, they don't nah give it right. Let me just put it that way because we don't want to be harsh, you know. But they don't nah give it right. See? So that's a big thing there in a real life. Highly. Aile, Aile, Aile. You know that um, violence in Jamaica is right now at its highest peak in a real life. You now, a lot of people question, including mine, is that what are we going to do about it? That is a big question. What is the solution? Yes.
what is the solution? Now, I think that question should be a question that we should put to the public. Find a way of putting that question to the public to get everyone start brainstorming. Think about it. To get everyone start brainstorming so people can give their input. People can throw in their little ideas. Even the little common man who is can read and write, he probably have a brilliant idea, you know. And then we, and then we, we, we put everything together. We have a, a system where we gather all this information and we put it together and we sieve out it. Because them say, no, one, two heads better than one, you know. So if we have 3.5 million heads, I think, and make that count. Now, if we really want to solve the, 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 the problem of crime, we need to get the public's opinion into it. We need to start paying attention to the common people. So we need to try to devise a way of, they do surveys that they go out and they tell you how much percentage of people is um, with the PNP, how much is um, with the DLP, how much is with this counselor, this particular division, and all of them surveys regarding politics to benefit themselves but to benefit a whole why don't we devise something in terms of that like if we really care about stopping crime in this country you understand what me i say get everyone involved and i think that is a good way to get everyone involved we should create a system or some type of way where they go out and they take census or whatever the case may be you know you know do some questionnaires where people can give their input and or their ideas maybe like you know i know we're going to get some ridiculous answers don't get me wrong some of them are going to make, probably make you laugh some of them is going to make you um, frown but here what happened. within those i guarantee you you will find people with good ideas you know and you can use that along with what you have brethren if we really need to stop crime in this country we have to do whatever it takes that is basically what Bingia said. So we have to get creative in our train of thought. We have to get creative in our thinking. You see me I say my brethren and sisters, if we stop the crime we are going into the country. Yeah. So the big question, like I said, you know, everybody wants to know what can we do about crime in this country. We need to hear everyone's idea of on that. And don't discredit no one. Don't say you don't want to hear from the man or you don't want to hear from the woman. We want to hear from everybody. What is your idea? Yeah. God just give the whole way a brain for thinking of brethren. And about the feel say your brain bigger than that man's brain because you have your PhD and your doctorate and how much the subjects over you. Yeah, I understand under your belt. Yeah. Listen to the regular people. The regular people are brilliant in their own way. Seeing, and that being here for say highly, blessed love.